Hello everyone, it's your host Tashiana Mickens and I'm so thankful for finding this podcast on Anchor and I'm thankful for everyone for listening to me on this Sunday. Um, you already know you can find me on IG as Hashiana Styles. That's T Y S H E O N A S T Y L E Z. And um, you already know it's nothing but positive vibes and positive energy, and it's nothing but the real. Um, today, today, we're going to discuss a subject that I call Why Me? Um, fear and Resentment. And I chose this subject mainly because this is exactly why I stopped podcasting for a minute is because of fear and resentment. So, um, and I also know that I'm not the only person that went through this stage in life and had to overcome it. So I also wanted to talk about it to everybody else. Um, everyone has this question, why me? Why me, right? Um, why is this happening to me? Why do I feel like this? And why... Why do it have to be like this? Um, I'm going to be totally honest with everyone. I stopped podcasting because of fear and resentment, and I became so close to my goals. I became so close to my goals that I just stopped. Um, when I say I hit rock bottom, um, man. I broke down. I broke down really, really hard. And I sheltered myself away from the world. I sheltered myself away from friends. I sheltered myself away from social media. I sheltered myself away from anything and everything. And nobody that was around me could understand why I was feeling the way I was feeling. And nobody could get me out of this downfall that I was feeling. Um, I was leaving worth with no care in the world. And... And the process of everything, you know, I just felt alone. So I had to figure out, I had to figure out how to get back to Tashiana, how to get back to me. But before I had to figure out the root of the problems of me being unhappy, um, I was unhappy at the time. I was unhappy with my finances. I was, I was unhappy that I was working for a worldwide company distribution and the distribution didn't even care about the employees. Um, I was upset that I was educating myself on everything. Um, I also felt like on social media, people were bullying each other every day and they think it's cute because of their followers, not knowing that the shit sucks ass for real. Um, you hurting the community as a whole personally, but hey, if that's how you get your money, that's how you get your money. Um, but basically my little world just started to seek in and I have found it odd that everyone in my circle wanted advice and I gave it to them. But when it was on the other side of the table, when I asked for advice, nobody, you know, gave me the answer that I felt like was needed. But, you know, maybe they did give me the answer. Maybe I just took the answer type, a certain type of way. But at that time, I just felt like nobody was giving me the answer, any kind of answers. Um, I know that you're probably like, well, if that's how you feel, you know, how about, you know, you change it, right? Um... I'm pretty sure that's exactly how you feel. You feel as though this how you if this how the chick feel. How about she changed the way she feel? Um, wrong. Change does not happen overnight, boo boo. Um, see, I had fear. I had fear that what I had all what what I had offered to the world it didn't matter to anyone, and that's exactly why I started crashing. Um, I had put three years into my online store, Ray Lewis, and right when I felt the pressure to launch my website, I stopped. 
Um, the reason why I'm bringing up this topic of fear and resentment is because fear and resentment can last a very long time. And that feeling of emptiness can turn into years. And, you know, it can also affect your life. It can it can affect your concentration. It can affect your work. And it can affect your school, eating, and your sleeping. And sometimes we get so trapped of self-obsession of being afraid. Sometimes we get sometimes we get trapped in self-obsession of being afraid of the present and sometimes also the future. And you know, we as people we try to ignore them and sometimes we might even pretend that this feeling even exists. Um so basically, I had to face reality. I I had to accept what I was feeling and what I was feeling and what I am feeling. I had to deal with them. Um, I had to heal with them. I had to fake it till I make it. And I had to clear my thoughts at the same time because it's mind over matter, not matter over mind. Um, I had to be open-minded and I had to know that the process is what it was going to take some time um, because change doesn't happen overnight it takes time where I'm at right now in my three years you know I am very very far from where I first started and I just started realizing that I also realized that you know I was on the wreck track in my life and it was okay if I didn't want to work for somebody else. You know, it was okay if I'm over, overwhelmed with my business because this is my business and business is going to be overwhelming. And, you know, these were positive things that was happening into my life. You know, I felt like, you know, I spoke into the universe and the universe threw it right back at me. You know, I knew right then that it was how you utilize what has been given to you. Um, I had to stop limit, limiting my gifts and I, have, I had to use them. Um, you have to know yourself, relax sometimes, exercise, eat healthy, um, avoid drinking or should I say drink in moderations but um for the most part you have to keep your faith and you have to keep your spirits high and as I mentioned before in the beginning of the topic um I was mad that I was educating myself let me just say this y'all I feel mindless and I feel stupid of myself for even thinking this what is wrong with knowledge nothing you gain one of the most powerful gifts that the universe has given to you look i am happy that i can teach myself and if someone comes along the way to teach me more on certain subjects then i gave even more knowledge than what i knew before So like I said before, you guys, clear your mind and don't let fear stop you from achieving. Um, If there's anyone out there that's listening, please be aware of these feelings and you can too change or seek help or talk to a therapist a close friend a support group or a mental health foundation in your area or be like me and speak to the loved ones that's around you and maybe they'll be able to help you um again this podcast is like my personal life a little different from your ordinary podcast um i want to thank you for spending some time with me today on anchor and if you have any questions ask them i'll reply back Um, I hope everyone had a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, Have a great Monday and be great. Thank you for listening to I Am Me with your host, Tashiana Mickens on Anchor.